The Artists for Refugees is a program that we launch to give an opportunity to talented refugees to express their arts using known artists. The idea came from the participation of the well-known rap singer Octopizo to our World Refugee Day celebration in 2014. He came, saw some of the young artists, and as a result of the interaction he had with, uh, with them, he thought he needed to give back some of uh, his knowledge to these youth. It's also an opportunity for them to go out and explain what the plight of refugees is to uh, the, the general public. I do music because I love it and I do it as a hobby. And also music conquers hearts of people and it gives me motivation in life too. Sulinyalezo na mchumba, sasa mbona miaka inayumba, simoni, unachota katuku ni katangu mimi, please, nipe nafasi, sulinyalezo. Mimi mwenyewe siku penda kuwa refiji, enough, lakini ni kutokana na ile mambo ambayo inatokea na unaona hakuna jinsi, lazima uwe escape country. What has been happening, there's been a lot of negativity around the term refugee. And we want them to start knowing them by name. We don't want them to start calling them refugees anymore. Jina la refugee ni mtu aliyetoka kwa kwa matatizo na kuingia ndani ya mji mwingine kwa sababu ya kujistiri uwai. Kwa sababu ya kuhofia kuhofia usalama wake. So haijaimaanishi kwamba labda ukisikia jina refugee uone ni kitu tofauti, uone ni bomb flani hivi vimekuja kubomoa Nairobi Z. Sisi wote tunatoa moja. Hatuko tofauti. Hata kama mimi ni refugee, ni jina, ni kavi leo unaweza kuitwa Simon, Joseph, ni jina tu, lakini sisi wote ni watu wamoja. Refugees are good. They are, not, they, are, they, are, they are normal people like me. So I like them and if you could ask them, they, they know me in this camp. Nobody, nobody in this camp can say they don't, he doesn't know me. I was a former refugee that left here in East Africa, especially in uh, E4 refugee camps in 1993-94, the United States. And uh, so I totally understand how to live in refugee camps, because I've been in many of them. And uh, I'm glad to be back here again to see how people are still living in the way I remember. Sixty million people who are now displaced around the world. We've never, in any history, we've seen so many refugees around the world. Here in Kenya, the, the number of refugees uh, has been increasing recently as a result of the situation in South Sudan. And we've seen more South Sudanese refugees coming into, into Kenya. But at the same time, we've seen a reduction in the number of Somali refugees, as some of them were in a position of going back to their places of origin. These are just normal guys like us. All these guys are the same. You know, what people think is that everybody in refugees like Islam is like they're poor. They're not poor. These guys used to live in the arundas of their homes, but war broke. But when they come here, you, be, you, like, you become one thing. And we're just lucky in Kenya it has never happened to us. Because the day it will happen, all the guys in Runda and Kibera, when they end up in a camp, will all be refugees. If our objective is to help refugees become independent, if our objective is to give uh, refugees an opportunity to fend for themselves, we have to look at what they have. And we realize that there are many refugees who are in camps, who are artists, who if they had not found themselves in a refugee situation, would be well-known artists in their country of origin. In any society, artists are among the most important uh, actors they 
express things which people are not able to express in a way that is seen by anybody and in a way that is universal. So the idea was to try and provide them with that support that they should normally have when, if they were in their, in their country for, their, for them to express their art and knowing that this could transform into a livelihood for them. Every time I come here, I come with a plus two because I can't do everything. I just deal with music. We added Victor. We wanted to catch every point of art. It's been a, a beautiful journey getting to learn that uh, there are very talented artists in the camp and that they're able to do a lot uh, with just uh, having that skill. Art is also very therapeutic. And I know uh, sometimes they go through a lot as refugees. And when they draw, when they're able to have time and just express themselves through art, it's a form of therapy. Sama kweli kakuma, refugee camp, music CAVV, kutoboa. Yani ni ngumu kwa kakuma. No, it's about that too, kila muta na rap huko huko, kila muta na dance huko huko, lakini sisi, to me rap, Baka nani Octobizo ametupendele ametuambia tuende baka Nairobi. Wakati Octobizo aminuana ki perform, mini nikuwa tu ni kama tumichezo vile. Kwa sababu ali, alikuja, surprise, haku na mtalikuwa na jua. Kuna wangi wana kujanga ndio, lakini ya wajawe kutusaidea yote. Octobizo ndo mtuwa kwanza. Na ukiangalaa miundo ndo suki yangu ya kwanza kutoka inje ya kama. Tunajisikia tayari tumeanza kuwa masta kwa sababu shida ni kujulikana shida ni kufahamika hata mtu akisema kwamba wewe ni msanii atajua wewe ni msanii ushaimba nyimbo ngapi e, nani na nani ashasikiliza nyimbo zako vitu kama hivyo lakini kupata gap kama hii hapa tumeshukuru sana tumeona ndio mwanzo wa kufahamika ndio mwanzo wa usta mabihibu kule kalamu mikali ni farhana habibi Allah hilo hilo yo wagi putu nasketir tala hilo hilo oh wagi putu nasketir i'm so happy to get this chance because i think i will meet a lot of people that time and i will know them and they will know my music i'll make a step in life if never i'll be the same but i'll never be the same like this I will change. People will know me there. I will be someone else in the future. That's what I believe. What we're trying to do as a refugee program here in Kenya is to try and move away from the camp situation and to move towards an environment where the refugee economy and the host economy would be together. And we want refugees to be integrated in the society until they can go back to their places. But in the meantime, they can live normally in the society using all their talents. The fact that they are refugees is important, but should not be important in the way their art is judged by critics, by the public, who like refugees to be able to compete with other established artists, showcase their, their knowledge, their talent, and, and their art. <laughs> There's no way that I can say that I didn't do well. I did it because this is my work. This is what I do to earn a living. The people they are very happy. I'm, or even me, I'm very happy. This is good. Thus, we, we have done uh, good work today. This is so incredible because when I was performing, I saw a lot of people, you know, giving like, I felt like uh, I'm unique, you know, and I have to do more. because this is a first time 
for Fiji to come in Kenya, to, to come in Nairobi to perform. Kitu mina za nikawambia other refugees, ni kwamba, was to give up, don't give up, let's come up, let's do it, mona, because we know and we can do, kama tutasaidika kwa misadaka mai. Every time I see them, I, I see myself like five years ago. Probably worse, but I can relate a lot and I know all the things I went through, I'll never want them to go through. I'll never want anybody that I can help some way. Even some, some of this stuff don't even cost money, just need your time and give them a chance to, to do their thing. Should one focus resources and energy on art and singing uh, when you have so many other needs, uh, whether it is healthcare, whether it is water, whether it is shelter and the rest. But when you see the impact that being on stage has on each of the refugees, when you see the impact that they have on the public, and when you see how important it is for the public to know that these are people who have gone through a lot and are there on stage, I think you, you have a feeling that you've achieved something. So it was really pride, happiness, and uh, belief that that has to be continued. Not just in music, not just in uh, singing, but, but in all aspects of, of art. <laughs> Kwa hiyo, nikona fraa kiukweli.